If you hear any noises in the background, it's her. It's this little girl right here. I'm a mom now, so. I've done a few videos explaining how I started my business, um, but I don't think I've ever really gone in detail. Things are a lot different now. My life has changed so quickly, and I own a beauty brand called Audacity Cosmetics. I've ran this business since I was 17, and now things are completely different now. So I'm going to be displaying images and videos of like when things happen. Starting a beauty brand and making my own cosmetics was a hobby. Um, I didn't know what it was going to turn out to be, but I started selling the cosmetics I had already made. I started selling them to students, I started selling them to friends, and I couldn't afford all the fancy branding stuff at the time. You know, I had to work with what I had. I literally used like Ziploc bags from Dollar Tree to like package the cosmetics and like the paper confetti and the blank labels from Dollar Tree, and I would write like a thank you note. As far as what I could afford, I was working in 9 to job at my local mall as a salesperson at a candy kiosk and I was using most of my paycheck money for my business. I wanted to focus all my expenses towards the formula because it's not like I'm gonna half-ass a product. All right, I wanted to sell quality and to make content, I would use the studio lights that my parents already had. I'd be taking pictures and videos outside, inside, and I didn't even have a ring light yet. I was not on TikTok yet at the time. And my Instagram was kind of progressing. After a month of doing all of that and selling at school and to my friends, and I decided to join TikTok because my friend in my marketing class pushed me to do so. so I posted on TikTok about how I was starting my own business. I went viral in the middle of the night. I was freaking out. I started getting thousands and I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I started getting thousands of DMs of people requesting to buy. People asking, do you have a website? Do you ship internationally? Huge like happy moment. And I literally would wake up early, early, early morning just to answer every- I literally tried my best to answer to every single DM. I don't know what I was thinking. Like me thinking I'd have the capability of answering literally every single DM. I don't think I've ever been so attached to my phone when my phone started blowing up like crazy it was a completely unreal experience and I didn't have a website I couldn't afford a website so what I did instead was I started taking orders over Instagram I would buy like my bubble mailers from Target as I would be taking people's orders I would write down their name and their address like writing on the package right after I got their payment through like Venmo cash app PayPal like you name it and I'd go to the post office with like a bag of orders and and the lady would always have to like manually type in the address and stick on the shipping label because I didn't know how to make labels at home. I didn't know how to make my own shipping labels. I didn't know how that worked. I had to learn as I went. And I kept doing that and the ladies were getting really annoyed at me. Like the piles of orders kept freaking growing. I did eventually start learning how to make my own labels at home and then I made a thousand dollars in one night. And then that's when it hit me. I was like, bro, like I, I think I need to quit my job because I was coming to the realization that I can't keep balancing seeing my school by nine to five and like I'm not spending time with my family I'm always in my room I'm always on my phone like I'd always be going to 3 a.m. like finishing doing homework my grades were going down so I had to find a balance and I wanted to fully invest myself into my business so I was like maybe I should just quit my job like I remember taking out my phone as I was leaving work a day before Christmas Eve I don't know how to feel I might quit my job I just had to invest myself to my business and my parents weren't very fond of that idea my mom especially was insanely worried because she didn't think something like that could last long they were very doubtful and they were scared because I was also in the public eye and they didn't know how it was gonna go and I'm over here quitting my job I'm spending so much money for my business it was scaring them it wasn't scaring me though I was having a blast and as far as like how my parents like took it in when I told them that I quit. We fought so hard and they were even telling me like, no, like don't, like I think you should like stop now and just like continue it like right after you go to college. Like right after college, like then you can do your business then you can do all this and that. Like, like get the education, get that degree, go work for like some fancy ass company and like make hella money, like have a stable income. But I knew that if I did go through with like giving it up temporarily and then going back to it later on, I knew I was gonna regret it because I would see it as like, God's giving me the opportunity right now. I have a wide ass open door. I didn't want to miss my shot. So I went through that door that the Lord had opened up for me. Like saying no to your Hispanic parents is so scary. But then the pandemic hit. Everyone was home. Everyone was on their phones. Everyone was on TikTok. 
especially on TikTok. I was running my business and sharing my experience and what it's like running a business during the pandemic. I think I launched my website right, like literally right before the pandemic hit. My iPad was blowing up with orders like never before. Because I officially had my website and I was able to see all the sales come in I even remember having this like aha I told you type moment I went to the kitchen my dad was sitting and he was eating and I was like dad look like so I put the iPad on the table And it was going ding 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 with all these orders and and I got to see my dad's reaction I got it on video so I can play that for you guys right now This has been in there? Yes Damn <laughs> so yeah. I decided to put my iPad in front of my dad as orders were coming in. Look, look, look. This was on the day that I was restocking after a lot of my supporters have been waiting for almost a month of waiting. One of my products already sent out this in was four my minutes. dad's reaction. And I made a lot. I guess it was like a very proud moment for me. So like they got to witness that happening right before their eyes. So yeah, as soon as they started seeing everything progressing for me, they were super supportive. They were more confident in me how the timeline went was towards the end of the year in 2019 i started my business went viral during winter break came back to school started selling more to students and friends and stuff like that and then january came january 8 is my birthday and i got my business license i i did all the legal stuff shout out to my marketing teacher because miss charlton she's like a business mother to me she helped me get my llc and i actually registered my llc right after school in her classroom and she pulled out a little ribbon and i cut it i actually got that on video so i'll, sh I'll play that tiktok for you guys right now day i realized i wanted to quit my job day i registered my business in california like it was a very beautiful moment and i felt so official i felt like so, like that that moment is what made me officially feel like okay like i'm on some kylie jenner type shit right now and as it kept growing on tiktok i was outgrowing my space so i decided to build an office like i went to home depot and you know like those little casitas i got one of those if you guys want to see that process i do have a video on that on my channel i'll link that video down in the description box in case you guys want to go see that video too and i wanted to make the office pretty modern so it came out really cute tiktok personally reached out to me and be like hey we love that you're a young latina entrepreneur we'd love to have you in our casa tiktok community but because we were still in the pandemic all our events were like online i remember having a live stream with george lopez and his daughter we got a live performance from becky g we were actually in zoom meetings with other influencers and i recently went to our first ever casa tiktok event in la i had so much fun we had a live performance from snow the product so tiktok basically gave me a whole last career like my life has changed so rapidly and there are things that i still feel like this cannot be my life right now like the idea of people using my dry lip killer glosses and recently i launched my lip therapy oils like they're using that they've implemented my products into their everyday lives like that is what makes me super super happy and as far as getting sponsorships and collaborations like that especially paid sponsorships when you're working with big companies and sponsorships you get to to know that you gotta really self-discipline yourself to charge what you're worth as a creator because not only have I focused so much on my brand I focus on helping others to start their own brands I do webinars I create digital products and guides for people to purchase so they can receive all the things that other entrepreneurs don't really tell them about I would not be able to like inspire people to start a business of their own people wouldn't even know about audacity cosmetics now thousands and millions of people around the world know about it and I've learned so much and i can't wait to share so much more with you guys have a beautiful day don't forget to shop audacity cosmetics don't forget to follow because if you like this video make sure to follow me on tiktok instagram all right bye